Okay, the fly here is a green wired caddis. Really, really successful pattern for me. I've been using it the uh, last two trips I went out after I found this pattern. Uh, last two trips I went out, I caught a bunch of fish on it. It worked really, really well for me. The side, I'm tying it on a size 16, 11, 20 Daiichi scud hook using a gold 332nd brass bead. Okay, the first thing I'm going to tie on on this is a piece of ultra wire in chartreuse. I'll show you that here. Chartreuse ultra wire. Um, I've tied it in gold. I've caught fish on it on the gold one. You can tie it in blue, red, whatever Kelly you want. Um, we just have a lot of rock worms and stuff like that around, a lot of caddis around our area, green caddises. So I try to stick with the green colors when I'm fishing. They work real well for me, and this one was no exception. Okay, this is a little bit difficult to tie, but not really. Um, just takes a little bit of practice. Next thing I'm going to use is some scud back brown, the eighth inch size. Okay, now I'm actually going to take that out and I'm going to cut it in half. So it'll actually only be like a quarter inch, just a real thin piece. Okay, and uh, set the other one aside because you'll be tying more of these later, I promise you. And then I'm just going to tie that down on the back and tie it back to the bend of the hook there. Okay, now here comes the difficult part. And it's going to be a little bit difficult for me tying this. Um, see, at the angle I have to work out with the video here. So I'm going to actually tie this off up here at the head so I can get this out of the way, get my bobbin out of the way. Because you're going to be doing all the tying here with the, with the ultra wire now. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ultra wire and I'm going to rib this fly. I'm going to make about two turns with it, side by side, and then I'm going to pull the scud back up over the fly. And I'm going to wrap the scud back down. Okay, then I'm going to pull the scud back back, make about two turns, maybe three, because this is smaller. I'm going to pull this cut back up over. Like I said, this can kind of get a little difficult. And then I'm going to make a, oops, make my next wrap covering the scud back. Okay, then I'm just going to kind of complete this pattern the whole way up. It gives it a rib look on the back, but it gives it some color on the back. Just make sure you keep the scud back centered down the back of the down the back of the fly and you keep your keep your ribbing tight. Okay, this makes a really neat little fly looking fly when you're done. Um, you can work this the whole way up there pretty much because it makes a thin, this wire makes such a thin body that you can just put the top of it on afterwards. It's not a real big deal. Oops. Get this good back out of the way. Okay, I'm going to put like a wrap or two there. Now I'm going to come back in. Well, I'm going to cut my wire off. I'll show you my pattern down the back here. Okay, you can see the scud back. It doesn't show up real, real great with all the lighting here. But you can see the ribs on the scud there, over the scud back. Makes it a nice, gives it a nice brown color down over the back. Then I'm just going to come in and put my thread back on. Oops. Cut that off, and I'm going to get my scud back out of the way now. I'm, I'm done with it. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to put on is some uh, 
Ice Dub in Harder Bloody Black. It's a black color with some red mixed, red ice dubbing mixed into it. Um, I just really like this color for this fly. Just a little bit. You don't need much because we're gonna, we're just gonna put a little bit on the back here, on the back side of it. And then we're going to put um, some goose biots over top of this. So we're just going to come back here, make a nice little ball right here. Okay. Then we're going to take two goose biots, and I'll use white. Get them picked up here. Okay. And uh, just like on a prince nymph, you're going to crisscross them you see and we're gonna crisscross them and we're gonna set them down on the top right where we want them to go and we're gonna soft loop and then cinch it down okay and then we're gonna trim trim that off okay the next thing I want to do you can see I split them there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some crystal flash. Uh, rainbow just happens to be the color I have handy here, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to take about five strands of crystal flash, okay? I'm going to lay it down on top of that goose by it. I'm going to tie it down. Okay, then I'm going to take and I'm going to pull it back over itself. And I'm going to tie it down right over top of them goose bites. Okay, then we're going to take and we're going to trim this off just about the same length as the goose bites. And we're going to come back in with some some more of this black, uh, the bloody mix here, the ice dubbing. And we're going to finish the fly off. A little bit of practice. This isn't a real hard, hard one to tie. Just takes a little bit of practice to get onto that, uh, get onto working with that wire and the, working with the wire and the scud back. Um, you'll get it. It's not that hard, but I promise you, this is going to catch you a lot of fish. Just come in, whip finish this off here. you got a finished fly. Really, really good fish, like I said. Fly, I mean, sorry. Like I said, I tie this with uh, gold or brass, uh, ultra wire, and uh, the chartreuse. I fish it in the chartreuse a lot, and it really, really works for me. I hope you like that pattern.